Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 685. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 683 to 685. 685, we want to see how to automatically add color to every other row. Now we'll come over to the sheet right here and it's going to involve conditional formatting and we're going to use a logical true false formula. Because if you look over here, anytime it meets some criteria, this is an alternating row, we're going to add some formatting to the cell. So we need a trigger because in conditional formatting you, you put your true false formula up into a dialog box and then it automatically copies it through the range and every time the cell comes out to be true, it adds the color. Anytime it's false, it doesn't add the color. Now, this formula is going to involve, involve two functions. The first one is row, and row is just like it sounds. If you don't put anything there and just leave it argumentless, then it just tells you row 1, right? Row wherever, no matter where you copy it. Notice these are all row 1, so it gives a 1. That function will be used in conjunction with the mod function. Now, what in the world is mod? It should be uh, in a category called uh, good, and there would be the mod, the rad, and the cool functions. But no, no, mod is math we learned in fourth grade. We take a number like 10, comma, and the divisor, that's the uh, bottom part of the fraction, we say 10 divided by 8. So numerator, denominator. Well, in uh, fourth grade we learned that this is 1. There's 1, 8, and 10, but there's a remainder of 2. And that's what the mod function does. It gives you the remainder. If I change this to 16, get 0 because 16 divided by 8 is uh, z uh, 2 with a remainder of 0. Now. Let's put this all together and just see in the cells how this true-false pattern will work and then we'll copy it up into the conditional formatting uh, dialog box. Notice the number. What really, we, we need to be clever here. We need to think this is a true-false. True-false. Well, what is 2 divided by 1? What's the remainder? 2 uh, divided by 1, well, that We need to get clever here. We need to say uh, something like, hey, what's 1 divided by 2? Well, that's 0 with the remainder 1. What's 2 divided by 2? Well, that's 0. The remainder is 0. There's 1, 2, and 0 remainder. What's 3 divided by 2? Well, 1, remainder 1. What's 2? sorry, 4 divided by 2. It's 2 remainder 0. So if we somehow can get that pattern here, we'll get 1, 0, 1, 0. And any logical formula, whether it's the if function or the conditional formatting dialog box, interprets 0 as false and 1 as true. So we'll just do the row. Exactly what we want, divided by 2. Control, Enter. Copy it down. And no matter where we copy it, we get all the way zeros because, hey, 6 divided by 2 has a remainder of 0. 5 divided by 2 has a remainder of 1. So that formula right there, and we can actually copy this now that we've created it. And we'll highlight our range. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut conditional formatting is home styles conditional formatting. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt OD. New rule. Click right here, use formula, and right here. In 2003 and earlier, you just click the first drop down, which is formula is, and then control V. That one works all the way around in all the cells. Format, I'm going to pick whatever format. I'm going to use my old standby accounting green. Now remember, this is a true false formula. So it, it, um, or in essence, a one zero formula that interprets as true false, and it will trigger every cell will either get this formatting or it will not. Click OK. Click OK in earlier versions. You just have two OKs. All right, now the cool thing about this, I'm actually going to add some borders too, just to show you. Cool thing about this is you can actually take this, and since conditional formatting is, is saved in memory in that dialog box, if you copy this, it remembers that. So you can copy this anywhere you want. And um, Many people use this uh, for, uh, you know, a, a large spreadsheet or the whole spreadsheet or whatever. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.